Locking, punching. One, two. Spinning around. Yeah. While you're blocking. And counter it with the inside. Just kick. Oi! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Probably, yeah, I'll give it a hard head. Not yet, bring it back. <laughs>
But then, you know, the passion takes over. And there's only a few, a lot of us started, but a lot of us dropped out as well. And only those that were passionate enough continue. And I guess I had the passion. Training to another great. Defence against the roundhouse kick. Typical kind of shooting defence. Pulling the roundhouse kick around, you've got to understand the kick when it comes towards you. It's not a flick. There's power behind it, so it's a driving force. It's like a Muay Thai kick. So that you're changing the direction of the kick to continue going through by dropping it down. So just an example, what happens is your hand comes up to defend. Right in front of your eye, your hand comes up and the other hand is the block. When you block, block with your forearm, help with your hand, obviously the power of the kick. You're going to damage your hand, block and parry it down while you pull your leg back. Maintain your feet together so that way you can use your right or your left. You step back too far, under the choice of that too far, you are moving body again. So just as a demonstration, once, three, counter, boom. Then again, the fact that I've come back, counter, boom. Or, put it together, boom. boom. So, you're doing it now, blocking, pulling the ground, kick. Yes, very good. Kick to the face. Good. What was your best memory in combat sports? Look, uh, memory uh, in the 47 years of training, I have some fantastic memories. Uh, when I travel to the world tournaments, be part of a world tournament with 20,000 spectators, uh, over two days, uh, 200 uh, competitors been there watching, you know, lions fighting. Uh, you can't forget, I was there when kickboxing started. I was part of the kickboxing that started with Bob Jones. I was part of his show at the uh, Melbourne Town Hall when he brought down Chuck Norris. I was in that show. But you know what I mean? And there's just so many memories. And for me, uh, Life has been a dream. Every every day that I live is uh, is beyond comprehension. That's amazing, great. Do you know what I mean? Uh, there's far too many to mention. Trying to run four. Okay, we're doing a, a check. It's not actually a check. It's a block of a long kick. So if she blocks the kick for me, turning your knee into the kick. Wearing the kick, activating the quad, and wearing the kick and the quad. This allows you to punch simultaneously at the same time. So we go pop and punch. Pop and punch. Pop and punch. Okay. So we try it. One. Pop. Hey. Pop. Come on. Hey. One more. Hey. Good man. What's some advice you have for someone who's looking to start training? Uh, look, uh, I think uh, people that are not involved in this sport, they need to do a little bit of research to find out what they want. Uh, I really can't go past doing a traditional martial art. I think boxing is fantastic, kickboxing is great, MMA and so on. However, the combat sport, I feel that uh, going into boxing, you're just learning how to punch, but you really don't have a good understanding of your center of gravity, uh, your reflexes, how to use your body, your life, body shape, and so on. I just believe your traditional karate teaches you good balance, gives you a really, really good foundation. Training to number five. We do what we do is the mind get front kick. So somebody kicks the front, we block, and side step. 45 degrees so we're close enough to attack. We don't want to be going across and moving away now too far to move. So when you move, we move 45 degrees. So from here, one, boom, again, and one, boom, boom, boom. We come into the ribs. With the caption fighting, you need a combination, it's a combination of 
I have the eye techniques that I look at very seductive boxing. Then you attack, attack. So if you want to try, blocking, slamming. Oh, that's right, good. Again, high. Oh. And now I'm all high. Up. 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 That's right. Knuckles is big. So what advice do you have for someone looking to start training? I would uh, strongly recommend that they go into uh, a traditional martial art to develop uh, a good foundation, a good sense of balance, coordination and so on. Then you can look at the boxing, the kickboxing, your MMA and so on. Okay, what about for someone that's currently training? Well, if somebody come up currently training, really has an understanding of what they're doing, what they need to do now understand what they want to achieve. If you want to become an instructor, then you've got to look at improving your teaching knowledge, picking up knowledge. If you want to be a fighter, then you've got to look at getting yourself a fighting coach that will take you to the next level. Technique number one. Technique number one, evading a lot of kick. So what we do is the kick comes around, you step around, hop, and kick. Typical kick, shin kick is drop the shin down on the quad. So as we are, boom. So when we're teaching students, we're teaching step and kick. Step and kick. Then as they get better, boom, and kick. This is hard as the leg moves and you punch at the same time. So you want to try it. Good. 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 Not only the training, uh, the fighting aspect, but also the strength conditioning, the nutrition that goes behind it. Mindset. Uh, combat sport is such a professional sport, so all these things are going to come into line. And we're talking trying to fight at the highest level. Yes. And you will not be able to fight at the highest level unless you've got all those things. How important is mindset in combat sports? Training. Heart training is all about mindset because you need a strong mind not to quit. You need to push yourself beyond the point. So for me, and I always say to my students that a heart training doesn't develop muscles, it develops spirit. Mm -hmm. And it's your spirit that keeps you going. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing the combat sport of your everyday life. Uh, we constantly are challenged all the time. And not in, in the sport that we do, but in life. Technique number two. Technique number two is we're going to counter after someone doing punches, we're going to spin around into a back kick. So we do simultaneous one, two, and straight back. Then one, two, up, straight back. So we're going to try it. One, two, and back. Three. Okay. One, two, three, good. Just as you push the arm, turn. That's right. One more time. Ha ha! Oh, good. What about nutrition? How important is that? Oh, that's what I was saying. So if you don't put the right fuel in your body, you're not going to be able to perform. And we're talking about peak performance. You know, it's like you'll always perform. However, when you're looking at peak performance, everything's going to be in what about conditioning? Conditioning is important. I, I remember myself looking at people, I must mention the one, there's Sam Greco and uh, training next door at the Underworld, when the Underworld was next door. And he was cry crying in pain when he was doing sit-ups and was still going. Mm. And I thought to myself, oh my God. And you know what he said to me? He said to me, George, I am so scared that I need to train hard. Mm. Technique number three. 
Okay, we are countering now for the punches, kicking the back leg. The best place to hit the back leg is the, not the quad, the quad is very strong, kicking right in the hip. So coming around and dropping down the hip. And now, one, two, boom, and coming around. One, two, coming around. Moving around and kicking. Now stand in front and kick. So you try it. Step around, good. Step around, good. Step around, good. One more. Ah, hi, good. Now, what's a typical first session look like at your gym? Okay, what we do in, uh, in this gym here, we don't actually do really lots of classes. Uh, when we teach Kyokushin Karate, then we teach Kyokushin Karate. When we teach boxing, we teach boxing, we teach Muay Thai, we teach Muay Thai, and so on. So if somebody came in and wanted to do Kyokushin Karate, we would assign them to a, an intro PT. So it's an introduction class. We introduce them to the instructor. The instructor then spends 45 minutes with them, to 45 minutes, teaching them how to stand, how to walk in your basic motion, how to punch, how to block. Not that they will know what to do, but at least they have an idea when they jump into class that they need to kneel down, they need to have their chest out rather than going into class, kneel down. It's like, what are we talking about? What do I do? So we actually prepare them up before they do go into class. Good strategy. And it's, a, it's the same thing with the boxing. When we do the boxing class here, for instance, we, for instance, we've got jab, cross, slip. Now, you say that to a beginner that started, and it's like, what the hell are they talking about? You speak in another language. Mm -hmm. So we have trainers that spend that time preparing them up for class. And it works very well. Technique number four. Countering with punches. Straight after a punch. So just punch left, right, straight through, down the midsection, overhead right, boom, straight in. Making sure your hand is always up, not back here. So one more time, slow here, two, boom, 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 three. So fast. You try it. Ha! Good. Ha! Hi! Okay. Oi. <laughs> Thanks, man. And how do you prepare a fighter for competition? Well, uh, fighters cannot be trained in the United class. As uh, practical as our classes are, uh, when I say practical, uh, we would train uh, our members the same way we would train fighters. However, the fighters need to train to a next level, so they need to be separated to a separate class. So they need a different time slot to train with the tra two trainers at once. Basically, that's basically that's how we're preparing. Very much the same as classes, just the intensity is so much higher. Technique number four. Okay, the next technique is with the knees. And with Kyokushin fighting, everything's very close. The knees are very commonly used. In fact, a lot of Kyokushin fighters can actually knee to the head without doing a head. And generally, by punching the body, people tend to drop their chin so the knee will tend to come up in the face. But we will do a knee to the body. So please punch from hand back hand. It's going to happen simultaneously. Boom! Oi, so you're coming in on the block. So you try it now. One, two, pop, yeah, that's right. Pop, good. Pop, good. E, one more. E, good man. So if you live close to the CBD and you're interested in combat sports, head down to Fight Club Melbourne. Thank you. No, worries, mate. I got the gene of the warrior going in the fight mode. Never sleep, never keep my eyes closed. I, I, I got something to prove, and I, I, I got nothing to lose. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene. I'm dangerous, I got the warrior gene.